Hi, I'm Mark. I have an oven in my car and little to no experience in boat repair. Join me as I fix my boat. Welcome back to another episode of Baked on My Boat. Today we're floating on Gadigal country and we're going to be fixing an issue that's common to Beneteau 473s and a lot of the other clipper models. We're going to be replacing the leaking skylight. When we were researching, we couldn't find any videos on the subject, so we thought we'd make one. You may be thinking, why are we replacing the skylight? The reason is because 20 something years ago when Beneteau made this boat, they made it out of one sheet of plexiglass and then glued it in place. This is great when the boat's brand new, but after 20 years of sailing and flexing, the corners lift, which then means the cushions inside get wet. That's no good. After 20 years in the sun, our skylight was leaking, crazed, and it looked a little bit sad. We saw online that other 473 owners have replaced the single sheet of glass with three separate ones, and that's what we'll be doing today. Here are the materials you're going to need. Here's a list you can screenshot for later. Now we're going to start with step one, removal of the skylight. I would say this is by far the most labour intensive part of the process. First thing you're going to do is remove all the sealant and then start to lift the skylight. We found that tapping in wedges helped us get underneath it. Thin wire like guitar strings also helped us to cut through the ceiling. Eventually you'll start to see it lift, but there'll still be sections of sealant that need to be scraped away from the inside. Removing the skylight is a pretty big job, and I'd factor in about a day to get it done. We found that along with the wedges, the multi-tool was by far the most useful thing we had. It helped to get under the sections in the middle where the sealant was particularly thick. After a few hours of work, we started to see the window lifting. It's worth acknowledging that we initially tried to get the glass out in one piece, but then quickly realised after one crack that we'd have to remove it in sections. Here you can see that after the first section came out, the progress was pretty quick. Here's a little time lapse that shows how we worked. You can see hammering wedges under the corners and then using the multi-tool to cut away the sealant. This will take a lot of patience, as when Beneteau built the boat, they never intended for somebody to try and rip the skylight out. Here's the moment where we broke out the last piece of glass. We celebrated our success with some spicy instant noodles. Now we're on to the next step, the cleanup. The first thing you want to do is smooth and repair any cracked or loose gel coats. We chiseled away any loose sections and then sanded the whole thing flat, first by hand, and then using a sander. We prevented dust from getting in by putting towels over the closed sunshades. While you're doing this job, it's also a good idea to take all the cushions out and put towels over anything you particularly care about in the saloon. It's going to get dirty. Here's what ours look like after a day of work. We took the removed glass home to use as a template for the new acrylic. We made a wooden plug to help us keep the elements out while we waited so we could go sailing. And while we were out, these guys came to say hello. Now we're on to step three, the prep and installation. First thing you want to do is clean the surface to make sure there's no dust. Now it's time to do a bit more prep work. Use tape to protect the white sections on the interior of the skylight. Then place glazing tape around the edge as a barrier for the Sikaflex that we're about to put on. We found having a second person helped when trying to get the tape around the corners. After you've taped it, it'll look something like this. Now we need to prepare the edge of the bottom side of the acrylic for primer. We're removing the protective paper from this section before applying Sikaflex Primer 209D. You want to apply it on with a brush and it'll look something like this. You want to leave this for about 30 minutes before you handle it. After it's dried, remove the protective paper and move on to preparing the outside. Prepare the outside surface using Sika Activator 205 before applying the same primer that we used on the underside of the glass. This will make the whole surface look even 
and give the Sikaflex something to adhere to. Just like the glass, leave this for 30 minutes. Now you want to apply a bead of Sikaflex around all of the areas where the glass is going. In this section we used about three tubes of Sikaflex, but it's worth noting that we aren't professionals and we were potentially a little bit generous with our application. After that's done, place the acrylic panels onto the Sikaflex. Make sure that you get an even gap at the top and the bottom before you press it down, because once it's down, it ain't coming up. After that, add Sikaflex to the channel around the acrylic. Now use a plastic scraper to smooth down the excess. If you get Sikaflex marks on the deck, clean it up using acetone, but make sure not to let the solvent go anywhere near the hatches or the skylight. You want to remove the tape around the outside before it dries, and then after a few days, level down the edges using a Brillo pad. Now the last thing to do is to remove the protective film and admire your handiwork. It looks a heap better than the crazed old glass, and it doesn't leak anymore, which I'd say is an improvement. If you're a 473 owner about to tackle this job, I hope this helps. Let us know in the comments how you go. And there you have it. That's how you replace a Skylight on a Beneteau 473. Thank you for watching Baked On My Boat. Make sure to like and subscribe and to follow us on Instagram on Baked On My Boat or Baked In My Car.